Here in this question, we, we will try to find out how to calculate consumer surplus and producer surplus. You are given with this demand curve. P is equal to 10 upon Q plus 1. This supply curve, P is equal to S is equal, uh, P is equal to Q plus 3, which is the supply function. And at equilibrium, you know this, that equilibrium, uh, equilibrium is defined by demand is equal to supply. You just equate demand equals to supply. And what you'll be getting is 10 upon Q plus 1 is equal to Q plus 3. So 10 is equal to Q plus 1 into Q plus 3. You will factorize this and what you will get eventually is Q square plus 4Q minus 7. Well, it's not easy to factorize this. Uh, so what we'll do is that you'll use this discriminant formula. Q is equal to, you can find out the roots for this quadratic equation using this formula, which is minus B plus minus root of B squared minus 4AC upon 2A. The value for B here is 4, value for A here is 1, and value for C equals to minus 7 in this case. After substitution, what you will be getting is Q is equal to either 1.3 or minus 5.3. You'll ignore Q is equal to minus 5.3. There is nothing like negative quantity demanded or supply. So ignoring that, what you'll be getting is Q equals to 1.3. Now at Q equals to 1.3, you will again plug this Q equals to 1.3 in any of these equations. So P equals to P equals to 1.3 plus 3, which is equal to 4.3. And this is what you have here. So at Q equals to 1.3, P star is equal to Q star plus 3, which is 4.3. Okay. Now, consumer surplus is basically the area like this. Let me just draw this graph for you guys. Okay. So, <clears throat> our uh, demand function is basically like hyper uh, rectangular hyperbola. Okay, so something like this. Let me just. So this is the demand function which you have. And supply function is P equals to Q plus 3. P equals to Q plus 3. So when Q is equal to 0, P equals to 3. And when P equals to 0, Q equals to minus 3. So it goes, uh, it goes uh, into the negative axis. So I'll just put it here for you guys. When P is equal to 0, Q is equal to minus 3. And when Q is equal to 0, P equals to 3. So this is Q, this is P. When Q is equal to 0, P equals to 3. And from here, you will have an upward sloping line like this. Okay. So this is the supply function which you have. And uh, depending upon that, you guys have already found out what are equilibrium quantities supplied and demanded and what is the equilibrium price. Equilibrium quantity which is supplied and demanded is I guess 1.3 and at that price is 4.3. Hmm? This area, this area is consumer surplus. This area is basically consumer surplus. So the entire value the person is getting from consuming 1.3 units of commodity is this complete area here till here. But he's paying the value of this rectangle here and Th for for this amount, he is not paying anything, though he was willing to, but he is not paying this much. So this is the surplus which, which accrues to him. So what do you do is that you find out the area between 0 to 1.3, complete area under this curve, under this demand function, and you subtract the area of this rectangle from this. So you have integral of 0 to 1.3, area under this curve, which is demand function, minus this rectangle area, P star, Q star. So the integral of 1 upon q plus 1 is log of q plus 1 
and uh, minus you will just substitute the values for p star q star and this is 4.3 into 1.3 and the value for q here is um, the, the, this is a definite integral running from 0 to 1.3 these are these are the limits and what you'll get is log of 2.3 minus log of 1 minus this 5.59 which is the product of 4.3 into 1.3 log of 2.3 is nothing but 0 0.832 log of 1 is 0 so what you get is 8.32 minus 5.59 and 2.73 is the consumer surplus here this is the consumer surplus and uh, is the first part, first answer to our problem. So that is to calculate consumer surplus. Now how do you calculate producer surplus? Producer surplus is this area. Producer surplus is this area. Okay, that is the area below equilibrium price and the area above the supply function. Hmm. So this is, this is producer surplus. So what you do is that you subtract first of all you find out the area of this rectangle and from that you subtract this area that is area beneath this supply function running from 0 to 1.3 that is I'll tell you what I'm trying to say you take up the area of this rectangle and from this you subtract this area okay you subtract this area so what you get is this red area which is your producer surplus so what you do is that you take up that rectangle minus the area of this this white area below the supply function running from 0 to 1.3 and 0 to 1.3 here and this is the supply function which you have q plus 3 dq just plugging in the numbers integral of q plus 3 is q squared by 2 plus 3q running from 0 to 1.3. You'll we'll just put in the numbers and you'll get 5.59 minus 0 0.845 plus 3.9 which is equal to 0 0.845. So this is the case of producer surplus. Okay, And this is the way you calculate consumer surplus and producer surplus. So this is again one of the application of how do you apply integrals in economics.